Hello, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel, and in this video I will show you how to create a thread in FreeCAD. I will show you a quick trick that can significantly simplify and speed up the modeling of threads. I will start a new project in the Part Design Workbench and create a sketch on the XY plane. I will create a centered rectangle, placing the center of this rectangle at the origin of the coordinate system. I immediately check that it is a rectangle with rounded corners. I click here to set the center of the rectangle and specify the dimensions of 25 by 25 millimeters and a radius of 5 millimeters. I have something like that. Close the sketch and now I will add a pad here. We will do this in such a way that the length of the pad will define the length of the screw. For example, I will enter 25 millimeters and click OK. Next, I select this face and create a sketch here. I will create a circle of any radius, with its center coinciding with the origin of the coordinate system and the center of this solid. I close the sketch, and now this circle defines the position of the hole. I will use the hole wizard here. Let's choose the hole operation and add a threaded hole here. Let's choose, for example, isometric regular profile, thread size M12. We check threaded and check the thread model. We can also check update thread view so that we can see how this thread will be created and click OK to confirm. This way we can create threaded holes in the solid. Now I will show you how we can create a screw. This part will be an auxiliary part and in this project we will create another body. Choose the create body command. We have created another body and here we will create another sketch. We create a sketch on the XY plane and create a circle whose center will coincide with the origin of the coordinate system which means that the center of this circle will also coincide with the center of this solid and the center of the threaded hole. Here let's enter 13 millimeters as the diameter of this hole and press enter. I close the sketch and add a pad of 25 millimeters and the length of this pad is the same as the length of this solid defining the length of the thread. I click OK. Now, from this part, from this cylinder, we will subtract this solid. Before we do that, I will make a copy of this solid so that we can create another part based on this solid. I press Ctrl C here, OK, and then Ctrl V. This solid has been copied. I will hide one of these solids. I will hide the source solid. I select this solid and press the spacebar. Now I go to the part workbench and in the part workbench I sequentially select the cylinder solid then I hold down the Ctrl key and select this solid and here I choose the operation to subtract one solid from another. This way we created a thread. Now we can proceed to the part design workbench. In the part design workbench we can continue working on this model. To do this I select this model, choose create body here. A body has been created with the feature to which this solid was copied and now we can add further operations to this solid. For example, we can create a chamfer operation. I will create a new sketch on the XZ plane and here I will draw a polyline approximately like this. Here the dimensions do not matter much. I close the sketch and add a groove operation to create a chamfer here. I click OK. Now we can create another sketch. We can create a sketch on this face but this face is not perfectly centered on this solid. So we can do this by creating a reference plane where the reference plane will be the XY plane. Here I select this plane. Choose create datum plane and we will offset this in the Z axis by 25 millimeters. 
so that we create this plane at the height of this face. I click OK. Now I select this plane, choose to create a sketch, and here the other planes slightly obscure the view, but in this case, the center of this plane coincides with the center of the solid. Now, when we create some shape in this place, that shape will be created in such a way that the center of that shape will coincide with the center of the solid. I close the sketch, I will turn off the visibility of these planes, and based on this sketch, we add another pad for example of 5 millimeters and click OK. As you can see, with these few simple steps, we created the screw model. Here we also have a second model. Now I will turn off the visibility of this solid and turn on the visibility of this model. I would like to change the length of this pad so that this part is not 25 millimeters high but a little smaller. To do this, I right click choose the edit pad command to edit the length of the pad and for example I will enter 10 millimeters here I click OK and the changes have been applied this way we created such models it may not be the perfect way to model threads but this way we can design such a thread quite quickly and when it comes to making such a model on a 3D printer probably if you exported something like this directly to a slicer and prepared a print based on such a model the threads would not fit together, they would simply be too tight, but by appropriately scaling the model, we can adjust the threads to fit together so that after making these threads, everything fits together. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.